to my channel it's your girl miss trini Bree. if you're new here welcome my name is brianna please make sure you like you comment down below you share tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about your girl's channel and you also subscribe if you're not new here thank you so much for always coming back and supporting me and watching my channel um so as the title of the video oh wait a minute before i get into the video let me tell you something my hair, she wanted to do what she wanted to do today. And I was like, girl, I am not fighting with you, okay? I got a video that I got to shoot. I'm hungry and I still need to go to the gym. So I just let her do what she want to do, okay? So don't mind the hair. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. I'm going to explain what kava is just in case some of you don't know. If you don't have a kava around you, I feel sorry for you. I really do because it's delicious. You love it, okay? You would get addicted to it. But but um, kava, the way I describe it, to me, is just like another version of Chipotle, but it's a healthier version of Chipotle. It's more of a Mediterranean style, though. So um, you have, they have like, um, you can get your bowl, you can get, um, they have like pita bread sandwiches, um, and all, a lot of other different stuff. Um, so after you watch this video, go check it out to see what other stuff that they have, what type of different toppings, because the toppings that I'm going to put on my bowl is what I like, but um, they have so many different other things that you can put in your bowl. So I'm going to show you what I put in my bowl. And then I'm going to show you how I um, make everything, put all everything together. So the first thing that I'm going to be showing you is we're going to make some, um, the cilantro rice. So I, with the cilantro rice, I'm going to use jasmine rice. Now guys, this is my first time making jasmine rice. Can you believe it? So pray for me. But yes, jasmine rice. And then I have um, the cilantro right here I have two I don't think I need the cut out ball too but I have the cilantro here so we're gonna that's that jasmine rice with the cilantro and then I have um, tomatoes we're gonna cut up the tomatoes and I have cucumber and we're gonna cut up the cucumber and tomatoes and then mix it all together I also have corn I like corns in mine so I'm gonna heat up cook up some corn I have pickle onions. I love me some pickle onions. Now I'm not making this from scratch, but um, cause that would have took too long. Now the sauce that I like is the tzatziki sauce. And so I bought some dill cause I'm gonna make the tzatziki sauce from scratch. So I bought some dill, we're gonna cut that up. And um, I got the Greek yogurt that I'm gonna use for the dill sauce. Okay, and I also have, I forgot to bring it out, but I have lemon and lime because we're going to need that with the tzatziki sauce along with um, garlic. Okay, so we have that. I have my feta cheese. I love feta cheese. So put that in there. Also at Kava, they have like uh, roasted veggies. So um, I have Brussels sprouts with mine. So I'm going to put in mine. I love me some Brussels sprouts. Um, and I got these at uh, Costco. And it's so good. And it comes like, let me just show you guys. It comes in an individual pack. So you can just open it and just, you know, heat it up. Put your, add your seasoning to it that you want to add to it. Because Kava do have roasted vegetables. And it has like carrots, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts. Um, and it's really good. But I'm just going to use uh, roasted uh, Brussels sprouts for mine. And then... For my meat, I'm going to have chicken, okay? We're not cooking all this chicken. I just like to buy my chicken in bulk because I don't like to run in the grocery store all the time. So I'm going to only use one little pack from here, and I'll show you guys. And I'm going to um, cut it to make it smaller and then um, season it up, show you guys that with seasoning I put in my bowl. And then I do have the romaine lettuce. I like to use this. I think it's just better and it lasts longer, this type of lettuce. 
when you get it like you know and you just cut it yourself instead of buying the bags so yeah guys so that's what we have i'm gonna make jasmine i'm gonna make cilantro rice um i'm gonna make the dill yogurt sauce um and we have my uh, what is this? The pickled onions, the corn, the cucumbers and tomatoes, the romaine lettuce, and the chicken. So, if you're interested to see how this come out, which is going to be delicious, um, please, you know, stay tuned for the next part. And this is also going to save you some coins by doing your stuff yourself because I think the Kava Bowl is like over $10. It's like a, it's like 11 something. And I go, I used to go like three days a week. Uh, no lie because it's, it's healthy it's like a good i mean i know people might say jasmine rice is probably not that healthy jasmine rice is is healthier than the other rices that they have the other plain white rice but i'm not going to use too much rice i'm only going to use just a little bit but i need a little rice in mine okay all right guys so stay tuned okay guys so hopefully you can see yes so i've already um took a, pa a chicken breast out of the packet and I already cut it because it was too thick so I just cut it in the middle and slice it so it can just be thinner and I'm going to show you guys how I did that so and then some of the fat you see over here but you know we don't do all that fat now so I'm going to show you I'm going to just take the chicken you see how thick it is it's too thick right I mean if you want it like this you can but I don't so I'm just going to take my knife and I'm just going to go and slice it through in the middle. Right here, I'm just going to slice it. So just cut it in half. So, okay, like that, and just continue to cut it down the middle. All right. So now it's just a little thinner when you cook it. I mean, we are going to chop it anyway, but I'm going to cook it whole like this in my pot and you guys are gonna see that okay so this one is good to go I'm gonna put it in here and then we see some of this fat mm -mm, we don't want that I don't want that so I'm gonna just cut that off cut some of this off go all right all right so now we got our chicken I'm gonna wash it I think I'm gonna put cuz I'm cooking this for the week so I'm think I'm gonna do like uh, two more and then I'm gonna wash it and I'm gonna show you guys how I season it okay you guys so the chicken is nice and um, clean I clean my chicken so now we're going to go ahead and season it um, there's no measurements here. I just eyeball, you know, how I want to season my chicken. So, yeah. But, so, I have my green seasoning that my dad made for me. So good. If you guys want to know how to make the green seasoning, let me know. And I'll see if my dad wants to share. But, yeah. So, yeah. So, I'm going to add a tablespoon or sometimes more. But for the green season, you don't need a lot because it's very strong. But let me show you guys. So this is what the green seasoning looks like. I wish you guys can smell it. Let me put a little bit more. I said one tablespoon, but I just love it. You know, again, let me do a little close up. This is what it looks like. It just smells so good. So yeah, that's the green seasoning. Put some of that in there that to the side then I have my chicken rub that I'm going to put in here I get my seasons from my um, Amish market um, where I'm at I just love these seasons better this is just like so fresh but um, not all of it but majority of my seasoning that I get from the farmers markets um, so yeah this is the chicken rub I'm just gonna put some on here Again, I don't have certain measurements. I just, you know, use how much I want. And then um, I have my coarse Maggie's all-purpose seasoning. This is so good. You can get this at your um, 
local West Indian market, international market, really, really good guys. So try it out if you haven't tried it out before. Put some of that in there. Make sure you guys season your meat grill, okay? Season your meat. Um, I'm using some Italian season. Okay, that's what it look like. One in low, but I'm gonna put some on here. Then I have my Mrs. Dash. Okay. Again, just put some on here. And then I have another all-purpose season I'm gonna put on here, but it's a different brand by Grace. This is good as well. Focus. Hopefully you guys can see it. Can you see it? There we go. So this is good by Grace. As you see, I'm running low. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the remaining of that in there. And I'm just gonna put some garlic. Um, I ran out of garlic from where I get from a farmer's market. So I just went and got some, and they didn't have any more. So I had to get some at Kirkland's. Not Kirkland's, Costco. But this is Kirkland's brand. Okay. And then, so this is what it's looking at, like right now. That's just the water down the bottom because I had washed the chicken. And then, of course, chicken absorbs the water. But, yep. So, just go ahead. Use your hands, okay? Use your hands and get dirty and clean your and season your chicken. Make sure all the seasoning, look at that. Mm -mm -mm, that green seasoning is just everything. Make sure you go in there and you toss your chicken up. You toss it up like this. This right here is, what is this, garlic. And just toss it. If you feel like you need more seasoning, just look at it and add as you please. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit more of the Maggie's seasoning. Just a tad bit. You know what I'm saying? To y'all, it might be like, like, ooh, this is a lot of seasoning. But it's not. <laughs> Trust me. I know I season some food now. I'm just going to put a little sprinkle. All right. And I'm just going to toss this up. Like, so like that. All right. And then we're gonna put this in the fridge and I'm gonna cook everything else. This is probably gonna this is gonna be the last thing I cook because I want it to um marinate before I cook it. Usually I let my um meat season overnight, but since I'm doing the video, I'm just gonna let it season up for like 30 minutes to an hour. Okay guys, so now we're gonna make our tzatziki sauce, and the tzatziki sauce costs for um Greek yogurt. Your favorite or your favorite yogurt, you know, that you like. Cucumber. With the cucumber, we're going to strut this. You need olive oil. Okay. You're going to need your dill. Your fresh dill. Okay, guys. Now, like I said, you can buy it, but it's so much better when you just make it. And it's easy. Your fresh dill. Um, you're going to need lemon. And you're going to need some salt. And I think I, did I mention garlic? If I didn't, you're going to need garlic. Okay, so first, I'm just going to take my yogurt. I got mine from Costco. I didn't even know this was yogurt. I don't know why I thought it was sour cream for the recipe. I think I've seen some people use this with sour cream. But um, I'm going to use yogurt. And I'm surprised because I'm not a yogurt person. But Kava uses yogurt too. So here's the yogurt. So again, like I said, I don't do no measurements. Just, I'm going to make this for the week, so I think I'm going to do two, I'm going to do one more. Alright, but this is going to be for the week, okay, I'm going to just, there we go. Y'all think that's enough? Yeah, I think that's enough, let me do this little, bloop, just a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit more, there we go, alright. So we good with that. I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay. So here's our yogurt. We're gonna put that aside. Okay. Now we're gonna come with another bowl. And I have my um, grater here. 
and we're going to you have to grater the cu cucumbers so um, I'm going to use this side the more smaller side and I'm going to grater let me just I don't think I can see it with the bowl so I'm just going to grater it actually I think I'm going to use this side let me see there we go yep like that because you want it very very fine okay okay you guys so here is what it looks like it still got some inside so I'm just gonna put it down okay and then some of the front here so you want to take some of the water out from the cucumber. You don't want it to be watery. So I'm just going to put it in a paper towel like that. Because you see all the water down there. It's too much water. You don't want that inside your dill yogurt. Some, I guess, Well, some people do, but I don't. And most people, when they don't use the water. You see all that water? You don't want that. So you want to squeeze that out as much as you can. And then... Um, if you have like one of them small drainers to squeeze it out, you can, but I don't. So we're going to do what it do. See? And then we're going to toss that inside with the yogurt. Okay? So you have your shredded cucumber. Right? Inside the yogurt. And we don't waste no stuff here. So I'm going to take whatever was in a bowl and put it in there too as well. All right, so now we're going to cut up the dill and we're going to put it inside here as well. I'm going to show you that. Okay, guys, so now we have our first dill and I'm going to cut it up. Okay, real fine. And then put it inside the other mixture. So... Cut it up. Alright. Mmm, this smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this. Alright, so yeah, just cut it up, you know, fine or how you like it. But I'm gonna cut mine up. Some more smaller all right guys I think this is good enough and we're gonna take some I don't think I need all of this let me see we're gonna put it in our mixture here as well and like that I don't think I'm gonna use this I don't want to put too much and then it overpowers everything so yeah so that's what we have now I'm going to squeeze some lemon in it you know and then I'm going to if I feel like I need some more dill that I have left over I will put some more in there but I think I'm fine with this I'm going to put just the rest of this in here I think I'm really fine with this so let me um cut up the lemon I'm gonna just cut a lemon in half And then I'm going to squeeze the lemon in there, but make sure you don't get any seeds in it. So just use your hand like that just to, just in case you have seeds, the seed so you can catch the seed. See what I mean? Like here's a seed right here. So I'm going to toss that out. You just want the juice. Okay. There we go. And here was two seeds. All right. So, make sure there's no more juice in here. And then, let's put the juice in there. Oh, that, that seed get in here? There we go, take that out. All right. Okay, guys, so now the recipe also almost forgot the garlic. You need garlic. So, I'm going to shred it, the garlic in here. Because it calls for um, shredded garlic. All right. And just shred it. You can use as much as you want. I love garlic, so I'm going to use the whole one clove of garlic. I might 
I might actually do two. We're going to see when I taste it. All right. So, yeah, I'm using another one. Sort of two garlics. Like I said, I like garlic, so I'm going to use another one. And plus, this is a, um, a big bowl. So, because like I said, I'm using it for the week. So, I want enough garlic in here. Okay. Let's just make sure whatever's in here, just take it out, put it down. Okay. And then we're going to take some extra olive oil now. And we're going to put some inside. So let's pour some. Just a little bit. If I need more, I will add more. And then, so this is how it's looking. And then we're just going to mix it all together. Let's mix it all together. Oh my God, guys. This smells so good. Okay. Just give it a nice look at that okay it's important to um guys uh, make sure you squeeze out the water in a cucumber because if you don't your your sauce is just going to be watery okay now if you don't like your sauce thick like this you can um use your blender and mix it up so you can get like a salad dressing type of um sauce but i like mine's like this Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to taste, put some right here. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Wait a minute, I almost forgot the salt. Let me put some salt in there. Okay, we're going to put some salt in here. But this is good. Mmm. Alright. Mix it all up again. Okay, let me taste it again. Mm-hmm. Needed that salt, baby. Needed that salt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't need no more dill. I don't need no more dill. Remember I said I had some dill over here? I don't need it. I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit more salt on here. All right. Give it another little twirl up in here. Okay. One more time. Taste your food as you go now, okay? Mm-hmm. Baby. I did good, okay? Tastes just like kava. Actually, a little, it tastes better, but... <laughs> I don't want to toot my own horn. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So... We done got our chicken. Our chicken with seasoning is in the refrigerator. And now here's our tzatziki sauce. Already made. DIY. See, it's so easy. So I'm going to um, cover this up. And I'm going to put it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it when I combine everything together to eat. Okay? Alright. So now we're going to make the jasmine okay, rice. Okay, guys. I know I said I was going to do the jasmine rice next. But I forgot my lettuce. And um, I want to just make sure everything that I have to cut up, I can, you know, cut it up now and then put the, um, put the cutting board away. So I want to get everything that needs to be cut out the way first, okay? So here's the lettuce that I'm using, the romaine lettuce. Like I said, I like to use fresh lettuce and I'll just cut it up myself. I find that it lasts longer than buying the bag lettuce. Okay, so we're just going to take our knife and... I like to just pile all the lettuce together just so I can get that nice lettuce cut. So, and we just want to chop it. See, just like that. Okay. Go through it one more time, make sure everything's cut. 
and you cut it how you like it. If you like it real small, you cut it small. If you like it a little big, cut it big. Just cut it, you know, how the size you like your, your lettuce. All right. And I'm going to put it in this bowl here. All right. And that's, here's our lettuce. Nice and easy. Okay. Now we're going to, I'm going to show you the cucumbers and tomatoes and chop that up too. And then we're going to go to the jasmine rice. Okay guys, so I have my cucumber. This is my first time I'm um, using this cutting board, chop board, where it, you know, cuts it for you. So, um, I had already just started to see how it would go. So, just put it, you know, in there and just go. Cut it up that way. I like this, guys. Because I hate, um... I really do hate chopping up my own stuff all the time. Look how easy that is. Boop. I wonder if I can do the tomatoes in here. Y'all think I can do the tomatoes in here? We're going to try. Would it be too watery? Like, Let me take the seeds out. Hold on. We're gonna do our tomato and uh oh wait oh wait a minute oh there we go you had to push a little harder oh snap now we got our tomatoes and stuff i'm gonna have to use the cover for it with the tomato you gotta push down a little harder but look at that can you guys see oh snap so we got our cucumbers and tomatoes let me put another tomato in there. Okay. Take it. Bam. Again, take it. Bam. Oh, snap now. Oh, snap. Oh, I got the little fork too. You need to scrape it off. Yes, because we don't like to waste food. Okay. So... You got your cucumbers and tomatoes. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to put this in the bowl and put this in the fridge until we are ready for it. And now we're going to start the jasmine rice. But look how lovely this is. Okay, guys. So for your rice, like I said, I'm using jasmine rice, but you can use any rice of your choice. Um, this is... How many rice did I use? I use... <coughs> This is two cups of water, and I, this is the rice. I think I use um, a cup and a half, okay? So, but um, it depends how many people you're serving versus how much water it, you're going to have. But So, two cups of rice. Not two cups of rice. I have one and a half cup of rice, and then I have two cups of water. So, I'm just going to add my jasmine and rice to the pot, okay? I get all of it. And guys, like I said, this is my first time making jasmine rice, so pray for me. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just gonna add that, and then you're going to add one tablespoon of olive oil. So just add some olive oil. And then you're gonna add your bay leaf. And then you're just gonna let this cook um, on low heat, medium heat, for about 20 minutes, okay? So just let that cook. Let me stir it a little bit. All right, and we're just gonna let that cook, guys, and we're gonna come back and check it. They say don't touch it, just let it cook for the 20 minutes, so yeah so um after it finished then we're going to remove it from the um stove we're going to let it cool down for a little bit and then we're going to add our cilantro and some lime to it and we'll be done okay so now we're going to go with our brussels sprouts that i showed you guys earlier this is what it looks like i don't know if you guys can see it 
see it. But it comes in like um individual packs like this. And I got mine from Costco. So I'm gonna show you what it looked like. But you wanna start off with your um pan with some olive oil, just a little bit. And I like to turn it around to make sure that it's evenly. And then you want to toss it right in, like when it's art, when it's stoof, like frozen, like this. Okay. Let me show you. So this is what it looks like. It's really this big Brussels sprouts. So we're gonna put that in the pan. I'm going to use two packs because, like I said, this is for the week. I want it to, you know, be able to last me a couple of days. I don't want to keep on cooking, cooking. So, all right. I'm going to let this steam down a little bit before I add my season of choice that I want to use. So, um, I'm going to just let it cook down. I'm going to cover it. Let me find my cover here. Yeah, I'm just going to cover it like that and then let it do what it do. And we're going to come back and we're going to add our um, season of choice. Okay, guys. So, here's our Brussels sprouts so far. This is what it's looking like. Now I'm going to go ahead and start to add my seasoning of choice. It's not going to be a lot. Um, I'm just going to add some Mrs. Dash to this. Okay. And then I'm going to add some of the Maggie's all-purpose seasoning. You guys need to cop this. This is like the best seasoning ever. Besides my dad's green seasoning. And I'm just going to sprinkle this on here. Okay, seasoning your food. Seasoning. Okay, thank you. And we're just going to toss it up. Alright, so we have our seasoning in there. Let me show you guys a close-up. A close-up of it. So we're just going to let this simmer, cook. And we're just going to leave it alone, okay? Our jasmine rice is still cooking. So uh, when our, our Brussels sprouts finish, or when our jasmine rice finish, I'm not going to touch it because they say leave it alone. So um, when the jasmine rice finish and the Brussels sprouts, then we're going to start with the chicken. And then we're going to be done. And then I have the corn. But I probably want to show you guys corn. All I'm doing with the corn is just heating right, it up. Alright guys, and now we are about to cook our chicken. So I'm just going to add some, again, olive oil. You can use anything of your choice or what you like. Coconut oil, avocado oil, whatever. I'm going to turn it around so it can get everywhere. I'm going to also add some garlic, fresh garlic. But just add some cooking butter to it. Or you can just add olive oil. You can just use the olive oil. But I like cooking butter as well. Okay, now you're going to add your chicken to the pot. Okay, guys, our jasmine rice is done. I'm happy that I didn't mess it up because, like I said, this is my first time cooking jasmine rice. So we're going to take this from the stove, let it cool down, and then I'm going to show you guys me putting the cilantro in there and the other ingredients that you will need. But it's done. Okay, guys, so for our rice, here it is right here. I'm going to take out the... um. If you guys can see it, let me put you down some. There we go. I'm going to take out the bay, the bay leaves that I have in here. Take it out. And we're going to add olive oil to it again. Well, not again, but we're going to add olive oil. Just one tablespoon. So, a little bit of olive oil. That's it. Then we're going to add some of the cilantro. Put that in there. 
eyeball it. I mean, if you like a lot of cilantro, you can add a lot. If you don't, just add a little bit. And then we're going to squeeze um, a half of a lime in it. Okay, make sure I'm getting all the lime juice in it. And then we're just going to stir it up, guys. Uh oh. Just stir it up. And this is how your cilantro rice should look. Let me show you. So guys, this is the cilantro rice. Nice and good. And here's our finished Brussels sprouts. I'm not sure if I showed you guys, but it's all finished. I don't like mine's too soft. I like it nice and got a little crunch to it. So this is perfect. And I love like the little roasted, you know, crisp to it. I love that. So this is our Brussels sprouts that's finished. This is what the chicken is looking like so far. I like my chicken to have um, a little good crisp to it. You know, like the brown crisp. So I'm going to let it cook a little bit more for like five minutes. Five to ten minutes. Ooh, look at the steam, honey. Okay, so this is how I like my chicken. You cook your chicken the way you like it, but I like a little crisp to my chicken. And when you go to Kava, this is how they cook their chicken as well, too, with a little crisp. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to um, cut it up. And now I'm going to assemble the bowl. I am ready, guys. I'm so ready. But, yep. So, stay tuned for the final finale of me putting everything together. Hey, guys. So, before I assemble everything, I just want to go over again what I have. I have my romaine lettuce. You can use any type of um, greens you want. Spinach, kale, whatever you want. But I'm using romaine. I have my cucumbers and tomato. We have our fresh uh, tzatziki sauce homemade I have my uh, pickle onions here and I'm also going to toss in some banana um, banana peppers I love these two as well okay and then I have my chicken that I had cooked I just took one chicken breast and cut it up and we have our cilantro rice our brushes sprouts and our corn so let me assemble and then we're going to taste okay so hopefully you guys can see i think you guys can see yes yes so the first thing we're going to add is our lettuce okay i'm going to add lettuce here just going to add a little bit more okay got our lettuce so i'm going to add some rice to it okay and then I'm going to add some of my cucumber, cucumber and tomato. I'm going to add that on a corner here. Okay. And then I'm going to take some Brussels sprouts and I'm going to add some Brussels sprouts to the corner over here. Okay, and then I'm going to add some pickled onions. Pickled onions, guys. I'm just going to put some in the corner here. Then I'm going to add some banana peppers and I'm going to put some put some in a corner here and then I'm going to take my chicken And I'm going to add my chicken 
on there like so like that like auntie tab be saying like so like that and just put it over here okay look how that's looking let me just let me just taste these mm, 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 mm. Woo! i couldn't wait guys but <laughs> chicken is amazing okay we have that and then we're going to take some of our tzatziki sauce that we have homemade that's it okay and we're just going to add some i'm just going to put some here and then i'm going to put some on this side right here okay and then we the last thing oh you know what i have corn too i don't even know if i have one let me see let me just add a little bit of corn I'm just going to put the corn uh, right here, just a little bit. And then I'm going to add my feta cheese, just add a little bit here to it. Like that, just a little bit more. I do like a lot of feta cheese, because when I go to Cabo, I'll be like, two scoops, two scoops. <laughs> so guys this looks so amazing i'm gonna tear it up okay tear it up <laughs> all right so let me guys give you a close-up of it look at our bowl let me get this corn out of here it's messing up the, the look there we go oh my goodness look at this the same thing at kava even better more probably healthier because I know exactly what's in my food because I made it myself. This looks amazing. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, guys. So let me do a taste test. Okay, guys. Don't mind the mess in the back. Just finished cooking. But look at this. Can y'all see it? Is it focusing? Oh, there we go. Look at that, guys. We got chicken. We got tzatziki sauce. We got banana pepper. We got corn. We got romaine lettuce. We got um, cilantro rice. We got nice seasoned chicken. Ooh, Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. I always say it wrong. And corn. Anyway, enough talking. Let me taste. <laughs> Let me taste this. Okay. I want a bite of everything, if I can. Cilantro rice with some chicken. Oh, let me see. Lettuce. Ooh, it's hard to get every bite. Let me just get. There we okay, go. so let's try this. Where's my manners? Y'all get the first bite. Open wide now. Okay, that's enough. Ooh. Mm. Okay. First bite. <laughs> mm. My God, today. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Girl. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is so good. Mm. This is so better than cough. Mm, let me give y'all a, a little bit more. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. Mm. My God. Brianna. It's 6 or 5. I'm hungry. I ain't eat all day. Mm. Mm. And that tzatziki sauce that I made. You can't tell me nothing, okay? Mm. But for sprout. My God, for that. Mm, 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 mm. That's it. What's up? No, 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 no. This, this is fantastic. Guys, go ahead and and make this. Okay, stop wasting your money. Um, Carva. I'm sorry, Carva. I like y'all, but this is way better. Okay, okay. 
and this is gonna last me about a week so I don't have to spend my hard-on money three days a week on you guys okay and y'all don't even give me no discount or nothing mm -mm. NASA no this is good mm. okay guys I wanna you know how you wanna get comfortable when you eat let everything just you know breathe out I'm gonna take my clothes off and I'm really want to let my hair loose loose because I got like a little thing on here that's beside the point the point is thank you so much for sticking with me if you made it to the end of this video on how to make this DIY cover bowl yourself and I forgot what I was gonna say because this, <laughs> this is too good um but anyway um yes all jokes aside thank you so much for staying tuned if you made it to the end of this video um please 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 if you make this let me know put a comment down below let me know what you put in your copper bowl and yeah until next time guys mm, like i said my teeth on it <laughs> my future husband could be seeing this wait a minute mm, i fit a cilantro on my teeth <laughs> wait a minute Okay, <laughs> it's too there, but don't mind it. Until next time, guys, only good vibes, okay, and live your life. Please, please, please make sure you like my video because it helps push my videos out. And you subscribe and you share. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about your girl's channel. Until next time, bye.